25 years into the HIV AIDS epidemic and we still question whether we're doing all that we can. Later in the studio, I'll ask Ajay Sellers, Executive Director of the Billy DeFrank Community Center, how she thinks we should be spending our time, effort, money, and political capital to continue the fight against HIV AIDS. Join me later in our show for Ajay's always insightful answers to that provocative question. We are 25 years now into the HIV AIDS epidemic. Where do you think we should put our time, energy, and efforts in combating this disease? Joining me in the studio tonight is Ajay Sellers, the Executive Director of the Billy DeFrank Center in San Jose. Ajay, welcome to the show. Thanks, Tom. Glad to be here. So I know it's a multi-pronged approach, probably, to combat this disease, and there's been a lot of fatigue about it. Uh, a lot, people have been living with AIDS for a long time. What is your thoughts on approaching this? Well, I think for the first, first we need to look at really the disease itself. I mean, people are living longer and living much better lives, so general society sees it as something that's been dealt with. When we actually have more people actually living with the disease now than we've ever had, we have 38 million people in the world living with AIDS, which is, you know, not okay that there are that many people that can die from a disease. Do you come across the attitude sometimes of some people who think, well, it's not so bad, um, people are living with it, and there's other more important things, and kind of move past that and don't really give it its due? Well, I certainly think that that exists, certainly not in the LGBT community, that's not the, the sentiment at all, but certainly when you look at the general community, there are, I mean, governments and, and other organizations that certainly have looked to move on to other things that people are now living lives and the quality of life has improved, although I wouldn't say the quality of life is outstanding for most of those people, it is much better than it was. Um, but that's not necessarily mean saying that we've come to an end and we're ready to move on to something else. We really need to work to find a cure for this. How many people have the disease in the county? Are you aware of? In some Santa of Clara County right now, we know that there are roughly about 2,500 people, and we estimate that there's around 800 that are going undiagnosed. Wow, that's a lot of people walking around not knowing that they can be infected and giving infections to other people. That's a huge portion of the community, and and I would love to say that it's a portion of the community that we could easily identify, but it's not. It cr it crosses all cultural groups, all socioeconomic groups. Um, and all genders. I mean, it's not, it's not a gay disease, it's not a lesbian disease, it is a human disease and it affects everyone equally. I also heard there's no longer any specific high risk group where there used to be high risk groups and now it's just devastating all, you know, all sorts of people. It is. I mean, it affects absolutely everyone. I mean, anyone who is out there having unprotected sex is actually at risk. So what are some of the things we can do to educate ourselves and others? Um, what are some of the things that work? What are some of the things that may not work? In your I think, you know, educating people around safe sex and how just STDs as a whole, including HIV, are transmitted. You know, I think that we have a, an epidemic on our hands of not just HIV, but, you know, syphilis and gonorrhea. All of those items are still a very much concern in this community, and we need to be aware of them. And so I think that there's across the board education on STDs and HIV, safe sex. There's really, you know, people asking questions of their partners. I mean, as much as sex is a difficult subject to talk about, it's a life and death discussion and you really need to have that discussion. The other thing is that people who are at risk or who are actively involved with multiple partners mm -hmm. need to be tested. And it doesn't matter whether you're gay, lesbian, straight, it, it's not a question of what your life, of what your orientation is. It's really a question if you're having multiple partners and you're having unprotected sex, you need to be tested. What can we do to get more funds? I know that the county is constantly funding for funds. I know that the DeFrank Center does testing and uh, you know, a lot of other good work, but it sounds like education, counseling, testing. Are there, is there enough money and, and, and what can we do if there's not? Well, there's not enough money. I mean, <laughs> there just isn't. I mean, the county, in this particular county, we're in a budget deficit. So HIV money is very hard to come by. Ryan White money, which is federal money that comes down through the state, is very hard to come by. Um, testing is not a high priority. Um, and it's unfortunate because if you can test at a very early level, you can lower the risk levels of people who are negative, and you can improve quality of life for those who come back positive. So it's really important that we get education out there, prevent cases from spreading, and when we do find those cases, get them the quality of care that they need, which will give them greater life expectancy. So if you feel you ignorant or you need to find help, there are these places we can go. There are lots of places, and I think even if you 
feel that you're at slight risk, mm -hmm. the best thing to do is get tested, relieve yourself of that, you know, question, and really learn how get the help you need. To get the Grace. help you need. Believe it or not, we are out of time. I know, it always <laughs> goes by so fast. <laughs> I know. For those of you who want more information on contacting Ajay or the, the DeFrank Center, look to your screen and you'll see a phone number, an address, and an email site. So thank you for coming on the show and thank being you. part of our World AIDS Day show. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tom.